I first found out I was going to be a father, I was extremely excited. I think that having a family and being a father has been uh, always something that I wanted to do, something that I always look forward to. So when I found out that I was pregnant with our first child, Brooke, we decided that we weren't going to tell people. The next day we went to work and Kevin came home and he had this kind of like sheepish tail between his legs kind of look. And I said, Kevin, how many people did you tell? And he said, around 50. Kevin has always been a very special person. He was always such an extraordinary son. It's certainly no wonder that he would turn out to be an extraordinary father as well. Both my parents always set the standard that family is the most important aspect of one's life, that your friends may come and go, but you always have your family. What can you say about a guy who, you know, drives the Hebrew school carpool, calls me on the way home just to say hello and talk, takes his daughter to the mall every year on her birthday, and actually looks forward to it? He is like my shopping consultant. When we go shopping, he'll like, you know, tell me what to get and stuff. My children really remind me of the importance of sort of letting go and relaxing, and they're always challenging me to, to forget about the stresses of life or the, the burdens of work and to just enjoy myself, to find that balance. I think he's a good father because he's just really special and he spends a lot of time with me. His kids are terrific and that alone attests to the fact that he is a wonderful father. As busy as he is, he makes the time necessary for them, and he balances that all in a very, very busy life. I think that being a physician has helped me to be hopefully a better father, but also being a father has hopefully helped me to become a better physician. He's just dedicated to the profession, to helping with the treatment of diabetes, to helping the families that he takes care of with diabetes. He is able to connect with the patient and with the parents, which is a hard thing to do. It's a passion for him to make people's lives more comfortable and easier to live with diabetes. Because of Dr. Kaiserman, my life is so much better and it's so much easier, you know, living with diabetes like day to day, he makes it manageable. He's always supportive and positive and looking for either a better way to help me or the way to keep me on the right track. He gets called a lot in the middle of the night and what some people may not know is that he always tries to hide his voice so someone can be calling him at like five in the morning and he just answers the phone like, hello? He just clears those cobwebs out of his voice because he doesn't want people to think that they're waking him up. He's very inspiring. Like, I want to be like that when I grow up, to be able to spend a lot of his time helping other people. I uh, feel incredibly fortunate to have a career that I love, to have a job that I want to get up and go to every day. I work with incredible patients and families that remind me every single day of the, the challenges of life, but also of the incredible opportunities to overcome challenges and to see people attain their, their goals is an incredible reward for me every single day. He is so helpful to everyone and he treats them so well. Like when he's a doctor or when he's at home with us, he just treats everyone really nicely and friendly and I just think he's a great role model and we should all look up to him. Yeah, he teaches me a lot about being nice to others and paying attention in like school. I would not be the person that I am today, would not be the physician uh, or the friend or the husband that I am to my wife Linda without the incredible joy and energy and commitment that I have for my son and daughter. They are incredibly bright and positive and energetic and most importantly compassionate children that make me proud to have the opportunity to, to be a father to them.